Thanks for joining us. I'm Anna Myler with the WBZ News Update. Our top stories, President Biden and the First Lady mourning with the people of Maine. Yesterday, they visited memorials for the mass shooting victims in Lewiston. They also spoke to families who lost loved ones. The Bidens addressed community members and first responders at the bowling alley where the shooting started before laying flowers outside of Schmengi's Bar and Grill. Their visit came on the same day that two of the 18 victims were laid to rest. Police in Sharon are searching for a killer. Brad Larson was found dead inside of his home on Thursday. Investigators say there were obvious signs of injury to his body, but the public is not believed to be in any danger. Investigators are asking anyone who has any information to come forward. The man wanted in connection with the deadly shooting at Worcester State University will soon be brought back to Massachusetts. Kevin Rodriguez has agreed to be extradited from New York, where he was arrested. He's expected to face a judge in Worcester next week. Prosecutors say Rodriguez shot and killed Randy Armando Melendez Jr. last weekend. Now let's get a check of the forecast with meteorologist Jason Michael. And Jason, how's it looking out there today? It's going to be looking pretty good on, especially for Saturday and Sunday. A healthy dose of cloud cover is going to be moving back through. As far as moisture is concerned, we are moisture starved here. A very dry dew point temperature into the mid to upper 30s. Visibility is pristine this morning, despite the cloud cover is higher in the elevation of the atmosphere, which is great news for us. Winds are out of the southwest, okay, because we're pulling in the winds coming off this area of high pressure. Stationary boundary, you can see a weak boundary now eliciting some showers out in the coastline there, but also another stationary boundary eliciting some snow showers, leaving some rain showers back towards the north and west along the American and Canadian border. Our slight uptick in rain chances begin to kind of bob and weave through the system here by Tuesday and Wednesday, and certainly by Thursday. That's when we're tracking in even more rain showers. But for the weekend, dry, seasonable, very much so a very stagnant, very uneventful weather pattern. Showers are possible late Monday night into Tuesday, but a bigger push is again arriving later next week. Also, maybe some wintry mix coming on in there as well. Pressing everything in play mode right now, you can see where we start to fan in a little bit more cloud cover along Appalachia moving through our Sunday here. I think we'll get a nice dose of some sunshine for the past game on Sunday afternoon. Now we're watching our next weather maker to run back into the mix here for the Canadian border as well as the American border. The nexus of of this area of low pressure. The pinwheel of it is really going to be concentrated in southern Canada. However, we're going to likely have a draped frontal boundary moving through all the way down south that's going to pull in some warmer weather on the uh, edge of that as it moves towards the region on Tuesday. So a slight uptick in surface temperatures on Tuesday along with cloud cover. Then the frontal boundary passes for us on Wednesday and we're going to take the temperatures back down the flagpole roughly around the low 50s for Wednesday and even on Thursday. Forecast highs today, warmer along the coastline and areas in the east, cooler north and also west and inland, likely in the mid to upper 50s. More clouds expected tonight acting as a blanket at the surface, so we're likely going to be in the mid to low 40s. Past tonight, though, heading in towards the weekend, at least the latter portion of the weekend, we'll stick with the upper 50s, low 60s by Monday, noticeably cooler. By Tuesday, noticeably warmer. By Wednesday, noticeably cooler again, so we're going to stick with that sort of a song that we're going to continue singing here with a better rain chance on Thursday of next week, Anna. All right, Jason, thank you. I'm Anna Myler. This has been a WBZ News update. Have a great day.